All right, everybody, we are gonna do a group video today. So we're outside in the backyard enjoying the wonderful Utah sun as it's yeah. come back. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're working on group stays. So most of these dogs are in downs. We got Ezra over here on a place command. So this is really, really good. And we even have some dogs on the other side of the yard wandering around that aren't in commands. So this is really great for these dogs to be able to hold these down stays next to other dogs and to be able to hold it as I walk around. Good job, guys. And with all these distractions, we've got dogs that are walking around a little bit. I'm even gonna step over some of these dogs. And there's not a whole lot going on. There's not a whole lot of noise, not a whole lot of distractions, but this is pretty hard for these dogs. They wanna be out playing, running around, enjoying the sun instead of sitting in it and doing obedience. So this is really, really good for these dogs to be able to have the impulse control to hold this down stay and we had a whistle over here oh so we got one that broke tank luna down. Down. luna come down come on tank down 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 good, good. luna down down Good job. So we had a little bit of distraction right there. One dog broke, another dog decided to break. Luckily, <laughs> we didn't have a mass breaking on our hands, but this is really, really good practice for these dogs. It's good to be able to see them struggle. We got to work them through these things. We have to make sure that their obedience is solid in, no ma in any sort of situation. So if one dog breaks, we want the other dogs to understand that that's not their release command. Another dog getting up is not a release command. We have to get the eye contact. We have to get the verbal cue as, as well as the body language. Good job, guys. So they really, really have to understand that unless they are given all three of those things, eye contact, verbal, and body language, they are not allowed to move. Good job. So not the only thing we're going to be working on today. They do get to have some fun. We get to do some movement exercises, but I wanted to get you this video to see all your dogs interacting with other dogs, but in, in a good way. Interacting with other dogs doesn't necessarily mean playing, running, romping. It's very much controlled. It's very much teaching a dog how to be in a calm state of mind around other dogs. Lola, come here. Down. Good. Good job. So even though we have some dogs breaking, they're very easy to correct. We bring them generally right back to where they were, within a foot of where they were. We want to instill that permanence and help them understand that, yes, you broke, but downing to where you ran to is not acceptable. You have to come back to where you were and you have to stay there until you're released. Good job, guys. So all these dogs are doing awesome. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're not doing a whole lot, but it is really, really good practice for all these guys. And they're doing pretty well with it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will talk to you later.